Many have searched for the truth on the mysteries of our world. But in reality, there are no mysteries, only a lack of information. These are the unveiled mysteries of light. I want to ask about Leonardo da Vinci and his famous painting, Gioconda, also known as the Mona Lisa, the painting that brought so much speculation. Leonardo was a terrestrial spirit of light who was also an avatar in other worlds. In the physical plane he was a magnificent painter, an excellent inventor, a gifted medium. Was Leonardo da Vinci a medium? Yes, of course. Notice that he left many advanced ideas for the time he lived. There is another character of the same level of Leonardo. I refer to Galileo. These two beings are very similar since both of them channeled and they had novel ideas that amply surpassed their century. Obviously they could not see what the future holds. I make this remark because for example Leonardo was a pioneer of inventions like the airplane. Yes, but they were creations of him. Leonardo had a gigantic mental decoder, a huge mental capacity, to express it in a graphic way. When you say that Leonardo was an avatar, are you referring to a higher mission as Jesus has had? Yes, of that same category. Is it possible that the inventions were brought from the other worlds where he embodied? Of course, but don't forget that in order to do that, there must be a tremendous contact with the Thetan, since we are born without reincarnative memory, and they are very few people who at the present time have it in such magnitude on the planet. In which spiritual plane is Leonardo da Vinci at this moment? In the time he embodied he was already in the plane 5, sub-level 9. Ah, the same level that Jonathan and the Master Jesus. Could we say that he had a mediumship like the one this vessel has at the present time? Yes, very similar. Is the spirit of Leonardo present at this time? Yes, of course. I wanted you to jot down that the difference between both spirits were regarding the type of creativity, since both of them have it in different fields. And so that you see the magnitude of this creativity, I inform you that he surpasses the creativity of Jesus himself. But this obviously is not a detriment for the master, because they are different flares of light. Creativity is a function. This means that you can surpass Jesus for example in discernment of what anagram is. Do you understand what I want to convey? Because here we are not impairing anybody, but only highlighting that the spirits are different and everyone has their own qualities without becoming unworthy in front of the others. Master, it is completely clear. I want to ask about Mona Lisa. Somebody speculated that this painting was a reflection somehow of Leonardo and he sought to demonstrate it by coupling the halves of the faces. No, nothing like that. Both faces didn't have any resemblance. But who was the woman in that painting? She was a common lady of that time. She was also somebody's wife. I give you a name which is commonly suggested to see if we are talking about the same person. Mona Lisa di Antonio Maria Gerardini, who was wife of a Florentine wealthy person called Francesco del Giocondo. Yes, I confirm it to you, and here the spirit of Leonardo himself is advising me. She was a woman without significance. But why did they make such a mystery with something so simple? I already said before and I repeat it, people like to complicate simple things. I'll move on to the book called, The Da Vinci Code. I have given this book as disposable without consulting with you. Is this book so senseless? The author channeled to entities of light who gave him certain information. Are you validating the book? No, absolutely not. I only say that it is not 100% senseless, but rather it has a 10%, or maybe more of sense. The same percentage of fidelity the channelers that we talked about have. But with 10% of truth mixed with 90% of falsehoods, it transforms it in a dangerous book. In general the book is harmful because, as we always say, if somebody sells you a freezer that keeps the food, but it has a radioactive engine that contaminates the food and provoke cancer, obviously the freezer is not good at all. Is this the case of this book, The Da Vinci Code, where the author, Dan Brown, speaks that there is one extra hand in Leonardo's painting, The Last Supper? I've seen the painting and I didn't see it. You didn't see it because there is none. What happened then? He simply erroneously interpreted the painting. Is that all? Correct. What else could it be? There are even two more paintings on the Last Supper and in none of them there is an extra hand. 
Was this a cunning trick of the author of the Da Vinci Code? He saw what he wanted to see, noticed the amount of copies of the book he has sold, inventing things that don't exist. I will leave you now to give space to another entity that wishes to convey a message. I can visualize to that spiritual being who in the physical plane was called Leonardo da Vinci who painted that painting so wonderful called The Last Supper, and I assure you that the person he painted at my side was my dear disciple, John Zebedee, and not Mary Magdalene. It was not a woman at all, which means that the book that has been sold as intended. The Da Vinci Code? That's right. That book is completely false from the beginning. I leave you will all my love.